In my younger years, I was into fashion, not as a follower, not a, not as a follower of, of trends, but as a trend setter. Right? <laughs> I mean, people are still catching up to me today from from how I would uh, wear my hair and dress Ch young the youth today young people today are wearing what i used to wear and these looks were put together by me i was my own stylist i didn't have to go to a size stylist or get a stylist and i you know it's, it's i wasn't shopping for brand name uh, labels of europeans for my indigenous body what has become apparent is I was younger and foolish because, you know, I was wearing clothing in some some cases tight, too tight, short, too short. You know, you draw a lot of attention to yourself. Those were times that I I didn't really enjoy being out except if I was with like a, a group of friends so you know and we're all together and that's how i felt safest i never liked to go out alone and i wasn't into dating i just preferred to go out with a group of friends now going out with a group of friends if we're driving then i will wear something that is you know, very feminine and very um, stylish, chic. Yes. Um, if I'm going out alone, I tend to dress down a bit. And the reason for that is when I used to dress up, which I did a lot, people were always asking me for money. People in the street, friends, acquaintances, family members, cousins, people ask for money. People were always asking me for money. As if I start to realize it was due to my my style of dress, how I appeared. I looked like I had loads of money because I dressed well. I had my jewelry, you know, I mean... I can't tell you the last time I wore jewelry, gold, for instance, gold, silver. I decided quite a while ago, I think it's been like 20 years, I just put away the jewelry, especially as I became more and more into catering, into making food, and into um, gardening growing food you know and being more of a homebody not going out as much you see when i is i lived in the city in the city it's a lifestyle you're always going out if you're always going out you're getting dressed up you look at you out there you're flashing it right especially you have that you have the outfits and you have the body but here i am now in the suburbs not only am I in the suburbs, I've chosen to be single and celibate. So that means I don't feel a pressure nor need to get dressed up and leave the house. Because when I do that, it invites trouble. I get unwanted attention. People ask me for money when I'm dressed up. People always beg or ask for money. And I hate that. Because I don't think it's safe. I've learned that it's not safe to pull out your, your wallet out of your purse. Open it in front of some beggar who just ask you. Because they can snatch your purse and run. Hmm? I just say no, I don't have anything. And I also dress the part. I dress like I have nothing. Because I don't want to invite those People, are they people? I don't know. I think they're demon-possessed demon entities. 
they they are there to steal they are there to steal and i've had enough stolen from me over the years over many years and i've seen i've seen a, a family member become this way she she does very well for herself but i learned how much she has a business and customers used to come and steal so i even saw one of her customers i decided to check because something went missing and because i was there and another family member and it was determined that it wasn't the other family member and it wasn't me and it wasn't the business owner so obviously it was the customer and i just was shocked and i didn't want to believe that a woman in her 80s would come over and steal but apparently she'd been doing it for some time and it wasn't the first rodeo it wasn't the first time she'd stolen and so um i was just really furious with her uh because well she's italian and i i know italians are often accusing black people of being thieves you know just the same ones the same italians who prevent black people from from having employment because they only hire paisans mm anyway i didn't intend to go down down that road but you know this city has become much less safe than when i lived there in fact i looked forward to leaving this city not only because of the exorbitant like really really inflated pricing for everything from rent to food and recreation you name it everything became uh, ridiculously high priced i wasn't i wasn't signing up for that i don't i didn't think it was worth it because i know what quality is and what they are charging there is not quality to match the price and so here i am in the suburbs and i'm observing specifically the area i'm in i call it india because the majority of the people who live around here are indian and the indian people they work they work they work and they save and they buy things they are buying uh, properties buying businesses buying um they're buying homes they're buying homes to rent they're living together many of them in one house saving money and then they buy some mansion you see but when you see them they look like they have nothing i learned from them i i know some wealthy people when you see them you have no idea that they have the kind of money that they do i mean millionaires okay millionaires the average ones the the ones that are not on tv right you know it's usually also the women their wives the wives of the rich man or the wealthy person the wives are the ones who you know they have to present themselves it goes with the territory if you are in for instance the corporate world business higher ech- echelons you are required to make an appearance you know the, you know dressed a certain way that is considered presentable right i don't have these kinds of pressures i can and i know that i see how much peace i have in my life i i mean i don't dress like a bum i, I, I couldn't do that i always am <laughs> but when i do go out um alone i dress down a bit and i dress comfortably i i don't wear any high heels never high heels going by myself i must have an escort i must have a man or even friends then i will get dressed up but going out by myself dressed up is asking for trouble it's an invitation for all sorts of you know the world now even here right here in canada so many people you know canada online how about that scammers galore scammers abound there's so many scammers everywhere and guess what they're looking to rob you they're looking to steal from you you cannot invite them to your home right i start to see this family member i would see what looked like garbage so it would be like she has 
somebody gives her something like a snack you know some kind of snack like chips or st such right and she keeps she always keeps the wrapper the box or the bag and i was getting annoyed I'm like why does she do that and i learned that ah okay i learned something <laughs> because people who haven't had money for a while they call them nouveau rich the the new newly arrived the new money they like to flash the people who had money for a while they know not to flash they have their stuff and they have it hidden and it's not in plain sight it's hidden and it is in plain sight meaning that it's right there but you can't see it because at this stage this woman has been robbed so much by so-called customers that she's developed a habit of concealing her items her inventory her merchandise she's had to learn to hide it from the eyes of thieves <laughs> and i learned from her because you know when i lived alone or i lived with my housemate we had you know you, you get the place set up your 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 house your your uh, townhouse your apartment you move in and you get you know you get the leather couch and you get the this and the that and you know you, you do it up because you you having people over many people people would come over to my place a lot and i learned you know you have you had i had a, a silk couch beautiful silk couch the, the color was like a very marine like kind of like a bluish green i forget what it's called there is a name for that color it's beautiful imagine that in silk this nice nice couch that was a bit of an antique in, in excellent condition and these dykes these dykes came over they came over for lunch as i used to entertain and host and they were being you know they were playful they were playful fun young girls and they were my guests in fact one of them lived right across the street from from me and they were coming over to my place uh, because we were hanging out right and they were playing around i just served them um plates of pasta with sauce and they decide they're going to wrestle grab each other and do whatever you know it was playful but it was stupid it was childish because they managed to drop the plates of pasta on my beautiful silk couch now in in hindsight i'm i'm wondering was that deliberate were they just were they jealous <laughs> it's a beautiful couch very comfortable and but anyway imagine on silk cushions a plate of pasta sauce the color red and the kind of like is it turquoise i believe that's the color this uh, vibrant shade and man i was i was i was horrified because damn how do you how do you clean that well that taught me a lesson it taught me a lesson about class you know so people i invite over to my home would have some class so that they would know not to have a plate of food in their hand and be play fighting i mean it's childish as well but these were not children they were horny dykes being amorous playful you know anyway yeah um i don't want to be a magnet for thieves scammers and these these i don't know what to call them but those people who are there as they're parasitic and they're predatory and here they are judging you they'll judge you they will say they will tell you you're not good enough or 
Because they've assessed you, right? They've watched you. Because they're looking at you. They're viewing you critically. Because they want to see what are you bringing to the table. Should they decide to pursue you further, they've already come in. Because they saw an appearance of wealth. Because at the time you were in different surroundings. And they, they placed you in that atmosphere, in this environment of the moneyed class. And you, when you moved away from that, and you're passing through, not even in your own home, you're passing through, you're a guest, and they, they learn that you are not in the mansion, you're not on the golf course, and neither are they, but they are disappointed, because they want someone of means, they want someone who appears to have money, because they are stupid enough to think that the appearance of wealth, meaning that you're wearing jewelry and fashion, high fashion, and you get the expensive handbags and, and shoes and labels. Well, you know, like housewives lifestyle. That's what is attractive to some of these. They are the gold diggers. They are the male gold diggers, the version of gold diggers that are male. They are looking for women who are, you know, many pettied and hair done and they don't realize most of those females are sex workers, okay? There are some entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, and they are, you know, they're business owners, right? But there are many who are spending frivolously, and um, they're selling their ass. So they have to dress this way because they're trying to attract. The attention of these guys who are very shallow but will spend money like at a strip club for instance right i don't want to draw attention to myself from guys that i already know are out to rob me that are out to steal from me can i borrow that and you never see it again or do you have can i oh my i didn't pay my phone my my phone bill i haven't paid my phone bill i'm looking for a few bucks to pay my phone bill Oh, I don't have any. I don't have any food in the house. Can you, can I have twenty dollars? Like like that's really low. These are the types of people who are looking at you and assessing you, and they're assessing you because yeah, they're broke again, and they're broke again because well yeah, they've been buying shit, living far beyond their, living far beyond their means, buying diamonds and and gold, thick gold chains because hey, that's what they are wearing on TV. La La Land, Holly Weird, Black Holly Weird, you know, they, the black people who really, who grew up with not too much, want to make it look like they have, and they have become kind of snobby about it too, they're the ones who are acting bougie, but they don't have the education to back it up, yeah, they may have attended some college but they cannot even be worldly because they've never left the United States. They've never traveled. You know, one of them, he said, he, this guy, African-American, told me that he thought that Canada was one of the states. I kid you not. He thought Canada was one of the states. So why do Canadians have to know so much about the U.S.? In the U.S. does not know very much about Canada. <laughs> anyway, I make it a point to not leave the house being too... I mean, just the, the last time I went out, a, a woman came up to me and um, she, she wanna... Can you give, give me two... Give me, can you give me a toonie? Give me a toonie. She, she couldn't say please. Just demanding, ordering me to give her a toonie. A toonie is a $2 coin in Canada. And I said no, because she'd asked me. She got me once. I gave her one. She, and um, it's two years later, and she's still walking around as begging, begging for money. These people you will find, they will stay in the same mindset. And it's that they are ripping you off because... She, I don't know, she looks fine, and maybe she's not legal, I don't know. But she always looks, you know, well turned out, clean, neat and tidy. 
So she's doing not too badly for herself, collecting toonies on the road. I'm not there for that. I'm not here for that. And so even how dressed down I, I am when I go out, they still ask me for money. So can you imagine how much more it was when I was really dressed up? And for that reason, like, I don't need that. Especially, as I said, if I have a man with me, it's different. But when I'm walking out there by myself, or going around shopping by myself, which I really enjoy doing, by the way. I enjoy going by myself to buy what I want. Because when I'm with people, I feel like I'm being held up. Like, they, you know, they lo they're looking at things I'm not interested in. And I'm probably looking at things that don't interest them. So how about a, I go alone and I enjoy the experience? <laughs> anyway, if you're smart or if you want to not be bothered in the street by, by beggars and scammers and schemers, don't try, don't look like, well, many of the people who are looking all dressed up have no money. That's another thing. Living off credit cards or having to turn some more tricks. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe, comment or not. It's all good. I'm Domina Della Pai, Mistress Sasha Storm. Um, I just remembered um, the the person she had like like five thousand dollars in a place like like on the steps, and they came to rob her, and they walked right past the money. And didn't even see it. They ransacked the house. And the money was just right there. And um, they didn't see it. Because she is protected. She doesn't deserve to be robbed. And so yes. People really need to stop. With these bad habits. Black people taking from other black people. And thinking that they've done something. Something good. And that it's funny. That they are so smart. And they laugh at you. Because you, you look. You're so country. And you're not really sophisticated. You're not really flashy. You're not flashing jewelry. You're not flashing big eyelashes. And fake eyebrows. And fake hair. No. Oh my God. You don't rate. You're out.